Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Learner Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part 3 using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in JSON games interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below and do not worry if you do not have litco premium subscription i am going to share this panda schema in the description box below as well you can just copy it into something like jupyter notebook and try it on your own as well okay let's jump right in the question reads there is a table called activity again uh, four different columns player id device id event date and games played the combined columns player id and event date is the primary key column right so column with unique values of this table this table shows the activity of players of some games each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games that could be possibly zero before logging out on some day using some device now in this part we are asked to write a solution to report for each player and date how many games played so far by the player that is the total number of games played by the player until that date and check the example for clarity order of the result does not matter so basically what this question is saying that here you have different entries right so for player id 1 right you have three different logins on different dates it is asking for every particular date up till that date how many total games have been played so for example for player id 1 right so the first login was on 1st of March 2016. Total games played is 5. So at the end of this date, how many total games played? 5, right? Then second login was on 2nd of May, right? 6 games played. So now until 2nd of May 2016, how many total games have been played by player ID 1? 5 plus 6, that is 11. Similarly, on by 25th of June, 11 plus 1, 12, right? Similarly for player ID C. So that is what you need in your output. Now, if you know about SQL, right, and if you want to try to solve this using SQL, it is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is use a window function, right? So it is basically a running total calculation of a running total. But how can you do the same thing in pandas or Python? You need to use the cumulative sum, come sum function, right? So before doing that, the first thing that we need to do is because this question says for every player ID until a particular date, right? So the first thing that we should do is we should sort this entire data frame, although in this particular example, it is already sorted, but that is not going to be the case in every situation, right? So to make our solution generalized, we need to firstly sort by player ID and event date in ascending order. So let's do that and save this in a data frame called df where what we are doing is take the activity data frame and then sort values right sort values and then by and then provide the list of columns that we want so firstly by player id and then using the event date column right so event date and then it should be sorted in ascending order. so even if you do not write this part that is okay right so, uh, but like just to make it explicit, I'm just going to write. So yes, ascending by player ID as well as, right, ascending by player ID as well as event date, right? So now let me go ahead and return this data frame. Let's see what do we have here right now. Okay, so this says wrong answer because it's not complete yet. But right, if you see, look, it is sorted by player ID and then the event date, right? So the first event or the date preceding is, comes first, then second, then third, etc. So once you have this, then what we need to do is basically we need to make a column which is going to tell you the running total until that particular date, right? So what we can do is we can write, okay, df and that let's make a column called games played so far, right? So games played so far and what do we need to do is let's take this data frame which is sorted and group by, right, group by the player id right group by the player id because for every player id you need to calculate the cumulative sum right so player id you group by the player id and then you take the games played column and do the cumulative sum right so take the games played right take the games played and do the cumulative sum right so dot cum sum right Okay, let me go ahead and return this. Let's see what do we have here right now. 
So now if you look at it, right, uh, let me just drag it on the left. So now if you look at it, so you have the games played so far, right? So five until this for player ID one, then by the next date, five plus six, and then um, until this five plus six plus one. Similarly for player ID three, right? So zero and then zero plus five, five. So now once you have this, all you need to do is you need to only keep certain columns, right? So you need to keep, I think, player ID, event date and games played so far, right? So if I look at our output, right? So player ID, event date and games played so far. So then we need to just provide the list of columns that we need to keep so player id then we need to keep the event date right and then we need to keep the games played so far right so games played so far okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it if it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and, and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question, but you need to know the concept of cumulative sum to calculate the running total. So what we did was firstly, we sorted by player ID and event date. And then what we did was we made a new column called games played so far. And the way we did that is we did, you know, grouped by the player ID and then use the games played column to games played column to basically do a cumulative sum. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better or more efficient way you could solve this question. That the solution be in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.